What's going on, everybody? It's me, Broward Rips. We're back. New release preview today. Uh, new rip. Heritage High Number. 2022 topped Heritage High Number. Of course, it's an exciting product. It has all those top rookies inside, which is great that we want to hear because Topps Heritage didn't have anything. We found this at Target today. The card, card gods bless us with a restock. That's what we like to see with all the crap, like the select basketball, the you know, select basketball hangers. But then, you know, that, that stuff is garbage. You know, it's not good. You're not going to get anything from that. But, you know, let's rip some baseball. We have this week is basically like a, we have the megas of the, you know, I didn't buy all that, but we but we have the blaster today. We have the high number blaster. Got it at Target today. Target restock. Nice restock from Target. Uh, that's, that wasn't a great rip, but who cares? Who gives a crap? This box is hard to open, of course, when you've been ripping for seven years, probably. I want to say seven years. You don't know how to rip for almost seven years, I want to say. You've been, you don't know how to rip a box open. This is kind of pathetic, but you know, who cares? But yeah, let's get back to the box. 72 cards in total, just like the blasters, of course. And these are the packs that I hate because you can't rip them. Nothing in there. Probably should just throw that here, here. throw that in there. Yeah, I'm not expecting much. Maybe we can get a short print or a numbered card, but there's not really any good numbered cards in this product. Of course, not really good any numbered cards. So. Of course, I knock over all my stands because that's what the Brown Rips channel is about. But we get closer to the action because you know we gotta rip we gotta rip the packs, of course, you know. There we go. Throw that on the gr ground, of course. What the hell? Oh, shoot. Got something in the first pack, I can see. Okay, I'm not going to show it. Nick Lodolo, rookie. We got Yons, El Polo. Uh, you know, it's hard to open this. Jeremy, oh, that's good. Jeremy Pena, rookie. Let's throw our chrome there. Sponge, one Miranda, Lisa Garcia, and Bradley Zimmer. So we have a new, uh, and let's reveal our uh, chrome. I probably already revealed it, but you know. Let's sleeve up Mr. Jeremy Pena, the Mr. Uh, Gold Glove uh, Rookie of the Year. Uh, no, not the Rookie of the Year. The, uh, the Gold Glover, the, what was it, the F F MVP? Okay, got a Blue Jay. What is that, Yusei Kikuchi? Nate Pearson out of 373. That's nice. You really don't see numbered cards in this product, really, so that is nice. Nate Pearson at 373. I wasn't expecting much, but hey, we got a numbered card, of course. Mr. Nate Pearson at a 373 in the high number release, you know, because that is life. You want those, it's not a good name, but you know, he was a rookie last year. Not a top name, of course, but still good to get a numbered card in a box like this. Let's go into Mr. Pack number two. Um, trying, you know, I think that, that first pack, that opening was like the best, you know, I've ever done. I've, I was given some tips by my friend, DJ Rips, of course, y'all know him from, uh, from his channel, he shouted me out, probably all subscribed, for the reason why he subscribed was probably because of from him, you know? Okay, let's get into the next pack, Mr. Kyle Freeland, uh, Tyone, who's, who, Tyone signed a contract with the, the Cubs. Yes, he signed with the Cubs, the newest member of the Chicago Cubs, besides Cody Bellinger, but you get the point. Pache, you got Spencer Schreider. Here we go. First, oh, there's Bobby Witt, too. Jake Myers. And Duplon. That was like a whole rookie pack. That was, that was nice. That was nice. We got Mr. Bobby Witt Jr. and Mr. Uh, Spencer Schreier. I'm going to stick Bobby Witt Jr. in the top, of course. Hoping for a Julio. Hoping for a big Julio. Nice pull of Julio. And actually, now I'm thinking about it, uh, who who's edging it? I would say that in, you know, uh, someone like freaking uh, 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 Jeremy Pena is edging out uh, who's that? 
Oh, Spencer Torkelson. Yeah, Spencer Torkelson's cards are really full just because of how bad he's been. He's been horrible recently. Because, you know, it's unfortunate to see that the guy was so bad in his, like, debut and stuff. He, what did he go? Zero for four, if I'm correct? In the uh, beginning, he, on opening day, he went, like, zero for four. But still a very over, high, very over the high prospect, of course. Still cool to, you know, see him. Got Packy Nodden. Brad Keller. We got Griffin Canning. We got, uh, these, this thing. The bottle cap? Was there, was there like, oh, was there like a guaranteed one in this? I don't know if this is guaranteed or not, but still cool. The bottle cap thing, I don't know, it's weird. Donovan Solano, we got Noah Syndergaard, we got Alec Thomas, and Diego Castillo. Will the Marlins trade for Alec Thomas? I don't see it happening. I just don't see Alec Thomas becoming a Marlin if... If uh, the Marlins are going to trade a pitcher to the Diamondbacks, maybe they will. I don't know. You know? With the Marlins, I, this is an all-time low as a Marlins fan, be a fan of the team as. You know, we don't have, uh, we don't have, uh, what do you, what's that guy? Yeah, we don't have, uh, we don't, we didn't make a trade, did nothing, no signing yet, so that's disappointment. Uh, EJ Alexi, there's Kershaw, probably won his last year, just Cold Tucker. He got claimed by the, you know, he signed a minor league contract with the, Think, what what was oh the Rockies it's the Rockies yes okay Ryan Bland and Slider and Hervis Monterey yeah there's a Rockies for this is a new teammate huh? there's no guarantee Cole Tucker's gonna make the roster though because of course that's Cole Tucker for you we might have to go what is what is the short prints it's like four hundred or something Lance there's Matt Holson there's Tony Kemp Strom Kiermaier uh, and Ben Nintendi Roche what that's like a free agent pack what's the, what is it like 400 or something that's like a short print or something apparently oh uh, uh 600 it's like 700 i think is there any short prints in here it's like 700 if i'm correct should be 725 it's a short print i would say it's a short print uh if we'll be just making sure so the Clayton Kershaw is a short print. I just don't look at the backs. There's 725. There's Clayton Kershaw. Let's let's sleeve him up. Mr. Short printed Kershaw, of course. This box has taken like seven minutes to rip. We haven't even opened the last three packs, and I'm throwing everything around like I'm a fidget spinner. It's a weird reference to say, but who cares, you know? Let's go into the next pack, of course. Let's let's make it more presentable, of course, for the Brown Rips channel. At least I've been, uh, J.J. Medivac, and there's C.J. Abrams. Oh, and his Nationals jersey. Oh, there's Julio. There we go, Julio. Nolan Ryan, strikeouts, Adrian Launcher, Jake McCartney, Jean Chabel, the newest member of the, the Cleveland Guardians, of course, Mr. Jean Chabel. Sorry, Jeremy Pena, you're getting knocked off the screen for Mr. Julio. Just knock that guy off, you know, who cares? But Mr. Nate Pearson, there he is. He's going to stay up there because it's a numbered card. Nothing can remove a numbered card. Only certain things can remove numbered cards. Short prints aren't making this list just because the rookies and how stacked this box has been already. Maybe not stacked, but still a better box than other people have gotten. Maybe some people, maybe you got a box without a rookie. <laughs> Freaking, I got a rip. Remember the Allen against your box I ripped about a week, two weeks ago, three weeks ago? And zero rookies in that first box, of course. So I don't know. Short, well, there's Pool House. Apparently it was a short print image. Someone said it was a short print image. I think it was Jab's family. Said it was a short print image. Uh, Luke Williams. Uh, this, this one is. Uh, Hey, uh, there's jewelry, there's a Kirby. Do we get a short print in the last pack? Would it be considered a short print in the last pack? Uh, probably not. Uh, no. Probably the last pack will have a short print or something. I'm not sure. I think it's 725 and up. I think it's a 200 card set plus the whatever, so 100 like, short prints that there is. I think there's two in every box, if I'm correct. There's Bryce Elder. Uh, Darvish, Lucius Fox, the Bahamian, the second Bahamian player. 
behind Jazz Chisholm. We have Nasa Bahamas. No, I didn't show us. There's CJ Abrams, a retro performer, rookie performers. We have Romero, Corey Seager, and Heliot Ramos. Uh, so over 700. I don't think we got another short print. How many short prints are in a box? Let's see. Short prints. Three. Three, three. There's seven cards. Plus one extra. But there's nine cards. Nine pack cards or pack. What? So it'd be three boxes, right? Because there's eight. There's eight. Okay, so there's two. Where's the other short print? Where's my other short print? Do we get short at short print? <laughs> Imagine. You can say, oh, I got short at a short print, guys. Also, I'm just not looking at the numbers correctly. Unless Nate Pearson is considered our short print. That could be definitely a possibility. I haven't seen a seven yet, so. Uh, six seventy. Oh, there it is. John Heasley will be the Netler short print. I did not see his card. John Heasley. That's a rookie short print. That's interesting. Rookie short print, 700. A short print, Mr. Heasley. You know, we'll sleeve up Abrams, too, because, you know, you love C.J. Abrams, Mr. Abram, Abraham. But it, even, it doesn't even say that you got a candy uh, or, you know, wrapper thing, you know? Candy, uh, what is it? Candy wrapper. Candy top. Uh, Mr. C.J. Abrams, please get in. I'm telling you, I'm begging you, Mr. C.J. Abrams, please get in the, the sleeve. I'm, I'm a horrible at sleeves. I'm not, like, a D-Gen rips level. Yeah, but this is cool still. They just want to start with bubble gum. It's like you cut it out. I don't know. Just sell it. What is that horrible cut? Is that supposed to be like that? Uh, candy lid. Uh, what's the one of the odds? Uh, chrome, 1 in 54. We, we did it. 1 in 54 for the chrome. Chrome refractor. It's not a chrome refractor. It's not a... You know what? It actually is a chrome refractor. It is a chrome refractor. That is a 1 in 81 hits, as you can see, because it's, 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 it's at a 373. The chrome refractors are always at a 373. Uh, nickname, er, uh, Candace Celebrity. Celebrity autograph. What the hell is Celebrity autograph are you getting from there? Anyways. That's a look at the odds. I'm happy we got a numbered card. Whatever. Not every box get a numbered card, of course. But, you know, I'm happy... But thank you guys for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe. You know, uh, check out the Ebays. The Nate Pearson's probably going to be on it. Maybe the Julio. I don't know. Maybe this candy lid will f for pop itself on eBay. I don't know. See, this is interesting. I don't know. I don't get the point of the candy lid. But whatever. Yeah, but thank you guys for watching. And see you on the next upload. Tops Holiday. Big Tops Holiday release. And next week we have Stadium Club, probably Retail, and the Bowman Chrome Megas. So. Watch me drop about $1,000 on cars. No, I'm kidding. A couple hundred. All right. Take care.